Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video we have a brand new update for our Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Now this update pertains to the gallery application. We have a new advanced feature in the editor and a few other minor enhancements. So let's see what's going on exactly. All right, so I'm gonna launch my gallery, but before I do that, to get the latest update, what you wanna do is you wanna click the link down below. Once you click the link, you wanna scroll down just a little bit and under download, what you want to do is you want to click link number one. That's a photo editor portion of the gallery that has gotten the new update. So you click this link, it'll take you to the store. Once you're there at the bottom, you are going to see update. If you don't see update, you are already up to date or you might get the update in a little bit. And the latest version is going to be 2.9.26.33. And we have a bunch of new things here. Let me demonstrate what's going on over here. All right, so let me launch the gallery application. Okay, let's just pick a photo here. Let's just grab this photo right here. So the new updates pertain to the photo editor. So when you click on the edit button, it goes into the photo editor mode. And here, the first thing that we have is when you tap these three buttons on the top, we now have this brand new color mix option. Now this is an advanced editing tool that allows you to edit a photo by color. So basically you pick a color that's in the photo. Let's just say you wanna edit the greenery over here. What you do is you can now click that green button and you can modify the hue, the saturation and the luminance for that particular color. So if I move this around, you'll see the majority of the changes are gonna happen at the greenery, okay? You see that? So I can make things even more green. If I change the hue, the, the biggest effect hits the greens, all right? Now, once you're done, you obviously save this thing. Now, I'm gonna show you one more thing. This is just a side tip. If you do go to color mix, uh, if you wanna pick a particular color in here from the photo, you can click on this color picker and just tap on the area that you want to edit by color. So that's the white color. I'm going to tap it. Now look at that. When I modify this, it makes changes to that particular white color or any other color that looks like that color in the photo. Okay, and then you get to save it. Now, the other new feature that they've added, not a feature, just a minor enhancement, is normally when you save this photo, it overrides the existing photo. So the original photo gets lost and gets replaced by what you just edited. With the new option, when you tap on the three dots, on the top, now it says save as copy. Previously, I think it said save copy. Now it says save as copy. It makes a little bit more sense, so that's great as well. But the biggest thing is the color mixing option. Now let's uh, go back and see what else is new. The other thing is, if you go back into the editor, okay, if you go over and you try to add text on this photo, uh, what normally used to happen is you only had a couple uh, fonts. So I had this font right here. I can write something on the photo or whatever, and I can put this anywhere that I want. Let me just move it, okay? So let's just, there we go. It's right there, okay? Now what you can do is you can access all the fonts that you actually downloaded from the Galaxy Store. So if you have downloaded any additional fonts to your phone, you can now use them here for editing purposes. Initially, I only had one, two, three, four, five options. Here's a couple that I did download myself so I can use these fonts on my photos uh, now as well. Okay, so that's one more addition. And the final thing is, it's a very simple thing. Let me show you what that is all about. So I'm just gonna go to the desktop here. I mean the home screen. I'm gonna select a small portion of this photo. Okay, just like that. And when I go inside, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna to go to my gallery, and that photo is here. When I pull this up, you see that it's a tiny photo. It's a less than a megabyte, and it's also not even 720p. It is 570 by 413. So now when I tap on edit, and if I tap on this button, and if I go into resize, uh, normally when I have a photo of this size, I can enhance that photo and after enhancing, I have the option to actually edit it. Looks like if you were to download a photo that is low resolution, you're unable to edit that until you go in and you enhance it. At least that's what it looks like uh, it means. So if I go back over here, go to the photo editor, all right, 
And if I were to go down here, you can read that portion right here. It says small images that are one megapixels or smaller can be edited after improving the low image quality with the resize in more, okay? So I think that's what it is. If you found something else, let me know. But I'll try to show you as best as I can. Anyway, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?